I'm Ross Nicholas and I own Cape Cobra Hire in Cape Town and we do everything Cobras. We rent, we buy, we sell, we fix. Yeah, just about, you name it, we do it in Cobras. The Cobra's always been my, my dream car. I, I would say probably, um, my first car was a Morris Minor. My second car was a Ford Escort. My third one was an Escort panel van. And probably at about that time, um, the Cobras uh, just appealed to me. The lines, the, the flow of it, um, the sound. Um, for me, it's the epitome of what a car should be. The chance of owning this company came about uh, about two and a half years ago. Um, I was looking for a reason to come back to Cape Town from, from Saudi Arabia. Um, had been away too long and, and Cape Town you know, is home. Um, and I bought my first Cobra a few years ago from the previous owner of Cape Cobra Hire and decided to, um, well, he sent me an email actually saying he's looking at selling the business. It was an email in error. Um, and I emailed him back saying, Dean, uh, you want to sell the business? Um, and he said, oh, sorry, email not meant for you. I said, oh, yes, it was. Um, talk to me. And he basically said um, he wanted X for the business. And I said, uh, give me 10 minutes. I'll do an EFT of a holding deposit. I said, sold. And that was my reason to come back to Cape Town. Our, our core business, uh, we have three channels, hoping to do a fourth. But our core, our core channel is our rental business. Um, and we are very focused on, on the rental experience and making sure that we can make, uh, bring an affordable experience to everybody that wants to, to, to experience a Cobra or drive a Cobra. When I bought the business, we had four Cobras in the business and I've scaled it up rapidly to 20 to capitalize on the groups that come through to Cape Town. Um, so uh, if I look at our booking rates for the seasons, we've never ever disappointed a client in the sense of, of being fully booked. We always have a car available um, and we're able to bring uh, group experiences as well. Um, going forward, that rental experience will, will build up into a tour as well, where we're hoping to do a, a classic car tour, a Cobra tour, uh, take 10 Cobras uh, up along Route 62, a different stopover every night, um, and do that as a, yeah, as a bespoke tour, um, four days out in, in a classic car, take a support vehicle, take a technician along, um, and really just have an awesome time driving up Route 62, stopping at I was going to say wine farms, but obviously not. Um, experiencing different things along Route 62. Um, and just, yeah, hope, hopefully our international guests and local guests will, will participate. Uh, we'll do a, a cruise in a Cobra. Um, I think, yeah, uh, that appeals to me. Our, our second channel would be, would be Cobra services or muscle car services. We specialize on, on V8. Um, we do quite a few services for clients. Uh, everything from modifications to motor engine rebuilds. Um, we do a bit of uh, paint touch-ups as well, but, but more just cosmetic touch-up, nothing, nothing major. Um, we farm out uh, resprays to, to professional paint shops, but pretty much um, anything to do with the Cobra involving suspension, engine, conversion of gearbox manual to automatic or vice versa, we do. Um, and we also, uh, you know, because we, we rent the Cobras, we, we experience just about everything that can go wrong in a Cobra. So when somebody's looking at buying, we share that information, we tell them what to watch out for, what to test, bring it to us, we'll test it for them as well. Um, we do appraisals on Cobras for clients as well, wanting to buy or wanting to sell or wanting to insure their car. So basically anything involving a Cobra, um, we've got a, 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 a very, we've got a huge wealth of, of knowledge um, and experience when it comes to dealing with the cars with the exception of Cobras with Lexus motors. We don't like Cobras with Lexus motors. Um, so anything with an American motor, we're happy to, to support and, and answer. We know zero about the, elect about the Lexus motors, so we, we don't touch them. Our, 
our third channel would be Cobra Sales. Um, and it's our third channel because I, I don't focus on it in the sense my, my, my core business is rental and it's very easy to get to get hung up on, on selling cars, buying and selling cars. Um, but my core is rental, so I really push that to, to a, or relegate it to a, to a, a minor sort of a part of my, my time, my time allocation. But we, we buy a car, if a good car comes available, um, and I'll flip it, we'll sell it, we'll go through the car, optimize it. Uh, areas that we know are probably problematic in a Cobra, we go, we optimize, we make sure that when we sell a car, the client gets a really good, reliable vehicle. We have one car that, that we've built under the label King Cobra, and that we'll be selling on um, as a new car. Um, uh, all our vehicles are, are big bodies, large body uh, Cobras. Um, we also get a lot of clients who, who have started a project and, and have got basically got it, got, it, got it up to suspension stage and wheel stage and they just decide, you know what, it's taking too much money, it's taking too much time. Uh, it's not an easy thing to build a car from scratch. The problem with building a car is you just don't know what lies ahead of you. As much as you do your spreadsheets and checklists, uh, something's going to come along and that you haven't accounted for um, and finding that part where to get it at the right price is always a daunting problem we offer advice freely to to our, our clients as well as, as as anybody coming into the shop um, we, we love the cars so we share our information our knowledge where to get parts at the right price where to source things and building a car that feels good in the road is not as not an easy task as well um, getting that suspension set up properly is not easy getting the right shocks, getting the right um, shock strength and spring and spring tensions. You got to know what you're doing to get the right quality right. So we, when we buy a car, invariably we have to do a fair amount of work. We optimize it, we sell that on, um, but it takes a lot of time, and and we're a small team, um, and our hands are kept busy maintaining our rental fleet. So if a good deal comes along, we buy it, we'll fix it up, uh, repair it, sell it on. We do a lot of consignment sales, in which I, what I prefer. I have a lot of clients who, who bring their car to me or I advertise it on their behalf on our social media um, and we move the car along for them. Um, that's probably a, a bigger part of our business than just than, than buying and selling in terms of fixing up. Um, and we take a commission on that sale. Um, and that's been a, a healthy sort of uh, business model for us. And we are probably the biggest operator in the world of, of AC Cobra on a rental basis um, and we love what we do.